Good evening, sorry friend. This is Midi Man coming back at you from Walking Music. Yeah, another word for the day. Yeah, Friday afternoon edition. We're a little late getting it this today, but uh, it's better late than never. I always say uh, we had a few issues that got happening uh, this morning, and so I wasn't able to do the video as as I suppose. I normally do one at least one a day if I don't do at least one, if not two. But I at least do sometimes I sometimes I fail not to do one at all. Like I said, it's according to how the spirit moves. But nevertheless, I got a little break here. I'm working on a, a PC right now, and so I got a little break, and so I decided to go on and do the word for the day. I wanted to say that uh, we had a great Bible study on last evening, and uh, I also uploaded another video to try to verify and to uh, make clear of some things. I always try to do that. I don't like to leave anybody half cocked in anything and we need, we need to have the word as the word says and we need to read it from the word and that's what I did I wanted to say that uh, I, I got tickled at uh, one of our sisters uh, Sister Didi <laughs> said we, uh, something she had posted up there on one of my little sayings that I put up on uh, Facebook about the Pharisee and you know the Pharisees always try to make it so hard on the people and uh, Jesus even got on and said, you won't go in and you won't let nobody else in. In other words, that just, that my paraphrase and what up. Jesus spoke of when she, and when I saw what Sister Dita put up there, I said, you got it so right, Sister, in a nutshell. You know, and really, she did. And because of the fact, matter of fact, I just did a video about three days ago, I'm not certain. Three or four days ago, and I think I even may have uh, did a blog about one of the Bible study on that topic. And if I think I came from Proverbs 3 and 5, and I, I was trying to tell people to don't lean on your own understanding, but you trust in God. And all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. In other words, there's some things people I could say. Uh, everything is not meant to be, re, re, uh, be said again. I would just say it like that. Something is better left unsaid. Just, just don't, don't repeat it. In other words, there are some things that are better left alone. If it's not going to yield any fruitfulness, in other words, if it's not going to yield any fruitfulness, and something worthwhile, then just might as well leave it alone. Let it, let, let, let. In other words, let the dead stay buried. I uh, <clears throat> dealing with some issues and some things that I see, and it's boiling. It's ticking like a time bomb. And I know eventually it's going to go off. But I decided that I will keep my hands off it. In other words, I'm not going to lean on my own understanding in this situation because I'm, I'm going to acknowledge God. Committed to Him. See, God knows what to do with a thing. You see, even though we may mean well, sometimes when we get to digging in something and messing around with it, we're going to mess around there and hit the wrong wire. And we're going to clip the wrong wire. And we're going to set off the explosion before time. But if you just let the thing tick and put it in God's hand, when it explode, it'll explode for the best. In other words, God knows how to expose. In other words, when God handles a little thing, it will be handled. You don't have to worry about it. Everything they fall right in place and you will not be you will not be the victim. In other words, no one will be able to point the blame and say you were the reason why such and so and so did this. And if it had not been for you, everything might would have been all. No one will be able to say that. If you just get your behind out of it, stay out of it, and put it in God's hand and leave it alone. And I've often said that that's what we need to do in certain things. There are some things, that, now, there are some things we need to do. I'm not saying they'll go around and be lazy. There are some things that need to be done, but some things we need to let the Lord handle. And I'm through with that little bit right there. I've often said, and we had a little debate. Matter of fact, we had a big debate about this here at one of the Sunday schools uh, one one morning. And uh, matter of fact, uh, we were talking about. It. Matter of fact, even to even to uh, me and Bonnie get in discussion with this here. We were talking about this here not too long ago, but it's about you know how things are in 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 our nation now. And in our nation, right around 1948, we were the world power. America was the world power around around 1948. We had just whooped the Nazis, but the the dollar was the strongest currency in the, in the world. We were we were it. America was it and a bag of chips. But we are far from that now, people. And I just got to tell the truth. But I got to understand. I want you. 
This is not a political science course now that I'm teaching. This is not a political science course. But I just want to, 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 to kind of give people an eye opener. In case you don't know this, the government has no money. The government have never had any money. Money, the revenue that the government distributes comes from working people. Let me repeat that again. Working. The working class people. And it always have. But you see, the reason why we are in this condition we're in, number one, there are no industries hardly anymore in America. We, NAFTA, with the aid of NAFTA, and I, I'm not going to, the North American Free Trade Agreement, I'm just going to just spell it out. It placed a lot of the jobs overseas in other countries and stuff where the labor was cheap and therefore the manufacturers went into those countries. Therefore, diminishing the amount of works that we have on our, what, domestic soil, that they now no longer have jobs to go to. Everybody's not lazy, but they just don't have a job to go to. So now, if there are no jobs, that means there could be no taxes collected. No taxes, no revenue. So, in other words, this, <laughs> this is what the main problem is. And I don't think, you don't, you don't have to be a very, very bright to see that. If anyone can't see that yet, that means you can't be too very bright. Because this is what's wrong, and this country's in major, major debt. Why? Listen, we're not working anymore, people. Think about it. How can you collect taxes from people that are not working? You cannot collect taxes. They're not working. It takes a working class in order to collect taxes. And if you don't have anybody to tax, where the governmental revenue going to come to run all these governmental programs? Now, we know that the old government, a lot of the governmental programs, the social programs that have been employed since 1948, since we were a world power, I mean a major world power, because we was it in 1948. But since then, in just a little over 62, 63 years, look where the nation went in just about 60-some years. Why? Mainly because of the fact of industry. You see, people, you reap what you sow. The Bible told us that hundreds of years ago. We reap what we sow. So if, if, if there's nobody sowing anything, how can we reap? There are no jobs. So how can you get in the revenue? How can you collect taxes? You can't you can't get taxes from a from a dead man, or, or a man that's 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 a dead beat. And and I'm not calling people that are out of work dead beat because a lot of people are out of work because they have no job to get. They have no job. But then again, we had a lot of people that were taking advantage of the system for many many years. I'm not talking about the people that just couldn't help themselves, the disabled, the sick, the the the, the people that 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 really need help need help. I'm not talking about though, but I'm talking about these young able-bodied people that were just getting by and getting over on the system for so long. This is what the country, this is why the America is in the mess is in right now, to a large degree. Now, I know we got other things that contributes to that, but I'm talking about the overall scope. The in, in general, that is what's wrong with America. America need to go back to work. We need to go back to work, but we can't if we don't have the work to go to. So what we need, first thing we need to do, we need to bring industries back into our country. That's what it is. Let's create some jobs. Let's start producing like we once were. We once was a powerful nation. Like I said, from 1948, we had just whooped the Nazis' butt. We knocked down Hitler regime. We did all that. I mean, hey, the dollar was top in the whole country. The whole world, the dollar was the strongest. We were all that in a bag of chips. But look what has happened in just a space of about 62 years. About 62 years, look what have happened. From 1948, it's about 63 years, to now. Look where we as a country have come to from, from 1948 to 2013. In 63 years, once was a world major factor. The main, the, we was all that in a bag of chips, people. Read your history book. But look where we are now. Could we get that glory back? Of course we could. But we're going to have to do two things. We're going to have to, first of all, go back to God. And then we're going to have to bring some jobs and bring industry back into the United States. That's just, that just the way I see it, people. Now, somebody might see something different. I already know that. But I'm, I just stated what I, what I stated, what I stated. And it is what it is. So with that being said, whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God's not in it, better get out of it.
This is Mitty Man. See y'all tonight at Blog Talk Radio at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Peace. And remember, this is the weekend. Be careful out there. Keep your eyes open and your ears. The life you save may very well be your own. This is Mitty Man saying peace. See you later.